Welcome to Man Cave Mills. Uh, today I'm going to teach you something you probably thought you knew how to do already. Everybody thinks they know how to grill a hot dog, but let me tell you, you're doing it all wrong. Okay, I got my small cast iron pan on here. We're going to put a little olive oil in it. And then we're going to put our onions right in the pan. We're going to saute those onions, but we're also going to season them up a little bit. Season them with whatever you like and saute those until they turn translucent. Alrighty, after you get your onions sauteed the way you like them, you just grab them up, take them off, and set them aside. The next thing we're going to do in making our great hot dogs we're going to throw a chunk of apple wood on here and let a little bit of smoke get started. Once we get a little bit of smoke rolling, we're going to take our hot dogs and put them over on the cool side of the grill. We're just going to line them up and let them cook over indirect heat with the lid closed and the smoke going for about 10 minutes. So we're going to close that up and then we'll be back. Okay, after these guys have been on for about 10 minutes, we're going to bring them over direct heat, give them a quick sear off. This doesn't take but just a couple of minutes. And you'll roll them, just one grill grade at a time. You don't want to overchar these guys. And then after they've got this quick sear, you move them back off of direct heat, back to the cool side of the grill. Then we're gonna to toss our buns on for a quick toast. That's gonna be very quick, so don't let them burn probably 15 seconds see that one got quick got them quick then we'll take these guys upstairs with our onions and put them together Okay, we're going to take one of our toasted buns and I'm going to put a little daub of chipotle mustard right in the side of the bun. We're going to lay a hot dog on. We're going to spoon in some of our sauteed onions. A little bit of our homemade hot dog chili which is in another video and then we're going to sprinkle on a little bit of shredded Mexican cheese blend so there you have it that's how you've been doing it all wrong so we're going to make the rest of these and we're going to eat so until next time man cave meals